for a long time. And I'm proud to say that we have the best trucks ever. Tesla has touted its new semi as the future of trucking. However, from the date of delivery of the Tesla semi, this truck has stirred up a lot of controversy at Tesla. So, what are the facts about the Tesla semi that we know so far? And how powerful is it? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel, friends. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. The Semi is not your run-of-the-mill Semi truck. It's a zero-emissions, freight-hauling cargo machine that trumps traditional gas guzzlers, or oil guzzlers, I should say. How much does the Tesla Semi actually weigh? So that, that truck's clocking it at 82. That, that's weighing 82,000 pounds. Although the gross vehicle weight is limited to 82,000 pounds for EV rigs, there are sublimits for the axles. A diesel-powered rig is limited to 80,000 GVW, with axle sublimits of 12,000 pounds for the steer axle, 17,000 pounds for each drive axle, and 17,000 pounds for each trailer axle. Since the extra 2,000 pounds of GVW allowed for EV rigs is due to the anticipated extra weight of the tractor, the GVW allowance would be split between the steer axle axle and drive axles of the truck, probably 12.5 thousand pounds for the steer axle and 17.75 thousand pounds for each drive axle, but we're just guessing. Moreover, a truck driver also said that the example of the Tesla Semi hauling 11 Jersey barriers on a flatbed trailer weighing in at 81,000 pounds allows him to work backward from the gross weight to an approximate weight for the Tesla Semi. The 10-foot barriers weigh around 4,000 pounds each. There were 11 on them on the trailer, so that makes 44,000 pounds. The trailer itself weighs around 10,000 pounds when empty, so the total weight of the trailer and payload adds up to approximately 54,000 pounds. Take that out of the 81,000 pounds, and that leaves you with a semi-tractor weight of around 27,000 pounds. While it is heavier than the equivalent 500-mile diesel day cab, it's not excessively so. How much weight the Tesla Semi can handle may not be a big issue for companies like PepsiCo. If the load is just beverage, it'll just need to handle 42 to 44,000 pounds, but if the load is potato chips, oatmeal, cereal, or snacks, the weight is not an issue. As a result, restaurants that are in metropolitan areas require diesel rigs to shut down while they are unloading near residences due to the noise of an idling truck. But how about the Tesla Semi's range? The other reason that it's a beast is because it's also efficient and you, know, you can go 500 miles on a single charge. For truckers, the range would be a primary concern. Tesla has addressed range anxiety comprehensively. Currently, there are two versions of the Semi, one that provides 300 miles of range and one that delivers 500. This is a time-lapse video that shows a fully loaded tri-motor Semi driving 500 miles on a full charge. However, how far can the Tesla Semi go in the wintertime? The winter weather will certainly reduce any electric vehicle's battery capacity, and the Tesla Semi is no exception, affecting the routes on which the truck can operate. It's estimated that a reduced range of 100 miles in real-life winter conditions exists for Tesla's 500-mile range Tesla Semi. That's a 20% drop in range, pushing the battery's maximum capacity below 70% just enough to compromise the max driving range of the truck at about 400 miles per charge. However, Tesla added futuristic heat pumps and a redesigned radiator. It'll make a big change for the winter time. But in terms of technology, how safe is the Tesla Semi's braking system? And what that means is you've got regenerative braking. So rather than using a Jake brake or engine braking like a diesel truck does. Musk said the Semi was fast to accelerate and fast to brake. As promised, the Semi is built with regenerative braking, which means the brakes deliver power to the battery when drivers take their foot off the accelerator. We get to the bottom of the hill and we have cold brakes, said Musk. That's like mind blowing in the trucking world. Downhill is easier than uphill. More power has to be used going uphill than what is put into the battery, going downhill at the same 50 mile per hour speed, and there are energy losses either way. For comparison, diesel trucks require a lot of maintenance. The biggest costs are tires and brakes, so we would expect an EV semi to save operators a lot of money on brakes, especially those that operate in mountainous areas. Normally, a set of brakes on a truck lasts around 100,000 or so, depending on where they are operated. Tesla is honestly so far ahead that it's hard to imagine competitors catching up, but the competition is certainly heating up. 
So what new competitors does Semi have to face in the market? While the Semi was in development, other fully electric heavy-duty trucks were launched into the market. Volvo-owned Renault Trucks and Daimler have produced and delivered electric heavy-duty trucks to customers before Tesla. Even beleaguered Nikola, whose founder was ousted and convicted of fraud in recent months, started production of a battery electric truck in March. But besides that, Volta Trucks, the leading and disruptive fully electric commercial vehicle manufacturer and services provider has announced the first implementation of its new fully electric Volta Zero. The Volta Zero is the first purpose-built full electric medium-duty commercial vehicle designed specifically for urban logistics. With 150 to 225 kilowatt hours of battery power located between the chassis rails as the safest possible location, the Volta Zero will deliver a range of 150 to 200 kilometers, which is more than sufficient for distribution in city centers. As a vehicle that's specifically designed for urban use, safety is also very important. The driver of a Volta Zero sits in a lowered central seating position with 220 degrees of direct vision of other vulnerable road users. The driver is also supported by 360 degrees of bird's eye camera visibility. In short, we see that the specs of the Tesla semi-electric big rig are more impressive than other competitors. Tesla's ability to make a road-ready fully electric truck is a big step forward toward a greener trucking future. So we expect to see significant, um, we're, we're, we're tentatively aiming for 50,000 units in 2024 for um, Tesla Semi in, in North America. What do you think of the power of the Tesla Semi? Is it a trump card that helps Tesla make huge profits? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and until the next time we meet, take care and be safe.